get the door, get the door, get the door. Am I the a for walking away when my partner's family speaks another language? I'm currently in a relationship with someone whose family is bilingual. My partner's entire family is entirely fluent in both the language I speak as well as another language. When we are with my partner's family, 95% of the time, they speak the language I know. However, anytime there's any sort of disagreement or argument, they switch to the other language until the disagreement is resolved. To me, this feels really rude. If we're in the car or at the table and they switch languages, I'll be sitting there for several minutes at a time feeling very excluded. They know I don't speak the other language. So to me, it feels like they're taking advantage of the language barrier to purposely exclude me. After several requests to not be excluded from conversations, I've started to just get up and walk away from wherever we are when they switch languages, which my partner feels is very rude of me. She says when I get up and walk away, I'm being an a-hole. I think it's a reasonable response in there being a-holes for excluding me. They're definitely the asshole. Not the OP, but OP's spouse. Yeah. Because it is rude. You are excluding someone. And I've said it before, we grew up in a way where it's rude to talk a different language when there's people present that can't speak that language. Yeah. If you are having a private conversation and there's other people in the room, but it's, it's clear that it's private, I don't think that it matters too much um, just because it's it, you weren't meant to hear it in the first place. Mm-hmm. Um, but just in a group setting, if you and I are just having a casual conversation and there's other people in the room, I'm going to speak to you in the language that everyone in the room can understand. Yeah. But <laughs> I like the butt because the butt is all I'm about. Go ahead. <laughs> the butt. That's the what the butt's all I'm about. <laughs> um, I definitely been in situations where I do want to take advantage of the fact that only my brother and I in that room can speak the other language. Mm-hmm. I can get it, but it's a one off, not a constant. And when someone has asked you not to you know what i'm saying i get you we're latinos right you guys know this you picked it up i know i'm very good with my english accent but i am a latino and and so is my wifey i have found whenever there's an argument it is both easier and better to argue in spanish because oh okay i see where you're coming because one when you argue in your native language it's easier to get out the words that you want to speak second oh my gosh arguments in spanish get heated yeah and it just sounds like passionate you know so there have been times where we have gotten into a little bit of a discussion and we'll jump to Spanish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the reason I want to say is because it just sounds... Like, I don't know like, if, okay. it, if it, sounds, it sounds... You get your point across better. Like, it just... it just. We have the mm. extra gear to speak yeah. English and then we remove that gear we needed to turn <laughs> yeah. faster. <laughs> yeah. And, you, and you, we are speaking and, Spanish. And, and I want to say maybe... Maybe, yeah, it's like that, that this dude, like, has or has already asked a few times, mm-hmm. hey, don't exclude me from my... I don't know why he wants to not be excluded from arguments. Because like, it's rude. If they're yeah. doing it this often that he has brought it up several times, how many times has he not brought it up? Yeah. Just being in a group setting and like, oh, okay, you guys are doing that again. I guess that does like... I can, I can see the downside for that. But I think they're not necessarily always doing it on purpose. I, I can I can say that they're, they're probably not putting effort into speaking the, the same language mm-hmm. but they're probably not always doing it on purpose i think they just it's an automatic switch i'm not gonna lie sometimes you just go pa, and you just switch into your other language also it's weird because there's certain people that i speak to that speak both languages but just natural like there's an on and off switch where <laughs> i didn't assign that off and on switch yeah. but it's just there that when i'm speaking to a specific person i'll speak one of the languages primarily mm-hmm. I don't know why it is, you know, yeah. if that person speaks both, my person will assign, my brain will assign English here, Spanish here, English yeah. here, Spanish there. It's and weird. when you're with your family, if Spanish or this other language is your prime, was your first language, yeah. then it's more likely than not that that's going to be your automatic language. Yeah. But I don't think that that's it. I think if 
if someone brings it up to you, something that's automatic suddenly comes to your attention. Yeah. And then you can't unsee it. So they are aware. Yeah. I wonder what kind of arguments um, they're having, though. Like, to what extent? Because if it's just a regular argument, uh, oh, the Super Mario Bros. movie wasn't even that good. And then they go into Spanish for some reason. A little weird. You know? But if I if I get it where they're like, oh, don't even get me started about the uh, Maria. Oh. And then they all go into Spanish, right? Because, yeah. you know, or whatever it is that they're going to. Because the there's different I levels. I pictured it was more like, let's say we're around the dinner table. And maybe we're out around the table. Like, a restaurant yeah. at the table. And we're eating, and it's like, pendeja, ya te dije que cierres la boca cuando comes. You know, yeah. something like that. And then, like, that's how it starts, just because they want to yeah. say something without anyone else hearing. <laughs> Which is completely, like, I can see that happening. You, you know? know, it seems it's pretty like, reasonable. Mamá, ya te dije que no hablas español cuando estábamos con él. Yeah. Pero es que le tengo que decir, no hablas como está comiendo. Hey, no hablas a mi hija así, ¿eh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i can definitely see that uh, so it just depends on the levels you know yeah uh but definitely yeah it's definitely rude uh but he did add a note here he said i haven't started the beginning stages of trying to learn this other language myself but it's going to be quite some time before i'm anywhere near flowing enough to keep up yeah especially when if uh, it's a fast paced language yeah exactly yeah. if it's fast paced it's hard to keep up with any arguments or even conversations sometimes um somebody uh, or top comment here was info which one of the language is their native language? The one you understand or the one you don't understand? Because most of the time, it's easier to argue in your native mm -hmm. language, which is what I'm saying. It's just easier that way. Uh, somebody commented underneath that one saying, agreed, when emotions run high, it is easier for the brain to switch to default mode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So Which is really shows you how little we try to think things through when we're mad. Yeah. Maybe we should try to stick to English just because it'll slow us down in our anger. <laughs> yeah, so we're not so hot-headed all the time. Yeah. Uh, somebody commented, this happens to me too. My partner's family has heated disagreements in a language I don't speak. And it's honestly a bit uncomfortable to be sitting there not knowing why they're fighting and only understanding the tension. My partner often doesn't explain it to me and says it wasn't important. So I'm just left with the feelings. I should leave more than I do. Though sometimes... Depending what the other language is, people might think you're having a heated argument and we're having the best times. <laughs> yeah, it's just all about the passion, you know? Just yeah. how much, yeah, just the oomph into the words that you, that you put. Honestly, maybe just put a translator down. <laughs> Whenever they get into an Apps argument. are getting so good. Yeah, put it, or even put an ear, ear plug or whatever, uh, your earphone. It translates. It, have it translate to you so you can understand it. And then, like, if they are talking about you, maybe you find out. If they're not, then just chime in in English whenever they're talking about something. You're, they're, like, they're talking about whatever it is, and then you're, like, wait, no one did kill that pig. What are you guys talking about? And then they're, like, what? No, you know what? <laughs> That's a great way to find out if it's on purpose or not. Because mm. if it's not on purpose, they might not even catch it. Yeah. Because there's times where we are watching a show, and it's half Spanish, half English, and it takes us a while to even realize that they're speaking both languages yeah. just because... We, we understand both so easily. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, la, 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 la. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Has this been half Spanish the whole time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Facts. Or, last one here. Mm -hmm. Dedicate the next month or two to learn another language. And start talking. And just start talking that language around them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't understand you. And you know what else? Have arguments with yourself. That's it. That's in it, different Google. voices. You need Take to develop another voice as yeah. well. <laughs> another yeah. persona for this new language. One that's a little lower and one's a higher pitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just do that. And uh, we'll see what happens there. But, yeah, you know, I'll come back to the story to see if there's any updates on the road. <laughs> comes to, okay, it's a restaurant, okay? Yeah. And they're having dinner. And he has been doing what you suggested. And they start speaking another language. He takes off his coat. And the shirt underneath is like half and half. <laughs> <laughs> and just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's new who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours and uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us. Hear some Reddit stories and let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.